it has a fairly good record on publishing on uh, punishing corruption a lieutenant general not directly accused of corruption but accused of uh, sort of using his influence to the a deal has uh, has found the, the the whole organization coming down on him like a ton of bricks but there was tremendous pressure and Media. that's why the army acted against that lieutenant general they tried to protect him till the end they were trying to protect him it's an him. entirely academic Very question good. about whether they would have taken action or not because there was as you would recall i mean the press followed that issue in great detail the whole issue was raised and began to be raised from within the army itself the press only got on to that issue later okay it was eastern command that was taking but action general malik officer. the one thing that i'm very concerned about are a the number the amounts involved in the corruption 6000 8000 bucks and the level of susceptibility the le the easy the, the ease with which these officers are being corrupted it doesn't seem as if you know it's taken a lot of effort a lot of prodding lots of you know persuasion to corrupt these officers they've been corrupted very quickly it almost seems as if down the line everybody seems to be waiting for his cut of the pie which we've known for all these years happens in politics it happens with the bureaucracy but so far it didn't happen with the army sir yeah rahul you are right firstly i want to uh, uh you know the point which has been made by gorov that some people get away and only one or two people are caught that is not correct when we hold the court of inquiry in the army then whoever is involved whether senior or junior if his name appears and if he is found guilty either of taking money or of uh, of uh, uh, not uh, uh, exercising his uh, responsibility properly well they are being punished so i don't agree that people are getting away many people are getting away now coming to your um, very important question why has this thing started happening now i can only come out give you some of my own i mean advice for everybody here first of course when there is so much of corruption all round as ajay shukla pointed it out then i think there is greater emphasis required on our value system on high integrity on uh, uh, our uh, military values and uh, ethos in our academies and our regimental centers when people join we used to have honor code etc so i am sure that even today there is emphasis but i am now asking for much greater emphasis a second very important thing is that i now feel that we have to get back the simplicity of the army life somehow i feel that some many people are blindly copying the corporate style five star seven star culture army was known for simple life and high values and there is no reason why we cannot get back to simplicity you don't require ostentatious festivals and uh, functions or uh, get to vulgar display of uh, lights or money or uh, uh, that kind of hospitality everything about the army was simple and yet it was always graceful it was always something that made people envy and uh, the value system were maintained there was okay. never any vulgar display of wealth uh, or uh, ostentatiousness in our uh, functions or celebrations etc so we must get back to simple and graceful life as we used to do and okay. that example has to be given at the senior level it must start from the very senior level and it should then only come down and only then we can persuade our younger people our youngsters to follow those example i think we must get back to our simple uh, lifestyle that we had in earlier days earlier days i remember we found that anything that we did in the clubs or in our messes okay it was it was much better than what you get in five star or seven star hotels because you got not only personal attention but it was more graceful it was more enjoyable than what you will get after spending a huge amount of money in oh, five absolutely. star or seven star hotels are in these clubs as a man whose words carry most weight you really laid out a charter for reform simple living high values that's the most important thing and it needs to start right from the top when the generals lead by example so that the captains and the majors then follow them and we don't see any more incidents like this deeply disturbing incident of corruption that we've seen for the moment general vp malik thank you very much
even though it's been a very deeply anguishing evening for you thank you very much for coming in and giving us your thoughts on this karnalajay shukla manoj joshi uh, and god of savant uh, thank you very much